Is Virgin Voyages your vibe? Come along with me. I'll share with you the things that I absolutely loved and a few things they could work on. We got to the port a few hours early, and my first great impression of Virgin was the free shuttle that they provided to this market side shopping area. Had cute little shops so you could buy some souvenirs. I got a great sun hat uh, for the Florida and Caribbean heat. Miami's so beautiful, isn't it? When we arrived at the terminal, everything was so beautiful, and we loved the decor. I love the red theme that they have going on. And they do a great job managing thousands of people. They really excel at making things not feel crowded. I didn't realize how much I would love those bracelets. You just tap your bracelet to get into the room. This is our beautiful room. And having a balcony is such an amazing blessing. We love the room, we love the vibe, we love the decor. And the sustainability didn't go unnoticed, we love that. Mm -hmm. The bathroom was beautiful, although a little tight, but just the beauty of the room made up for it. Quick tip, get one of those hanging toiletry bags. They make such a difference. I thought that was a cool touch for the mustard drill and it was painless. Mm -hmm. And look at the balcony, so cool. Having such a beautiful room adds to the experience. This is Gumbe, the beautiful Korean restaurant. The views from the balcony were amazing. We were having such a great time just in the first few hours of getting on the ship. My hubby loved the hammock. But if you're like me, don't forget your motion sick medicine. We were absolutely in awe of the beautiful views from our balcony. We were taking cool selfies, of course, on this beautiful ship with the great scenery. The dock area was one of our favorite places to hang out, um, but I think it could use a little more shade. This area was really not used, so I think they should repurpose it. My hubby loved the swings. What makes Virgin Voyages special is that if you are prone to anxiety in crowds and don't like a lot of sensory overload, this is definitely the cruise for you. You can enjoy the party if you want to, but there's also lots of other places that you could retreat to to enjoy uh, serenity. And the customer service is incredible. Everyone looked so happy to be working there and happy to help you. Here's a quick glimpse of the sail away party where they gave out free champagne. That was a nice touch. I would say the sail away party was more geared toward the, towards the 40s and 50s age category and the scarlet party and the pajama party was more geared towards the 20 and 30 year, year olds. I didn't even recognize some of the music. I would say everyone fits in here and nobody acted inappropriately. This was a great first impression. The first day was one of my favorites, but nothing beats the day at Bimini. That was just a tropical, amazing paradise. This is Pink Agave, which was one of my favorite restaurants. And if you go there, you got to get the steak. It's so delicious. And the corn. Razzle Dazzle was my favorite restaurant. Don't miss the green goddess salad and the pork belly. The decor was totally my vibe, and I never got tired of looking at the decor and the beauty of the ship. If you need to work while you're on the ship, um, sometimes the Wi-Fi wasn't that dependable. So just keep that in mind. They also had it so you couldn't coordinate your dinner and your shows, but they were accommodating and making changes. They are aware and are working on that app issue. The Wake was such a beautiful, elegant, uh, top tier restaurant. The only complaint I have with this restaurant is the food is a little bit on the blander side, but I guess great if you like simpler tastes. 
but just an experience to have anyway. All of the food was very fresh and of great quality. I would have liked to have seen some lobster and crab cake on the menu. Um, they are serving sea bass and their fish was very moist and flaky and some of the best I've ever had. The galley is a great place for a casual meal and on other ships that I've been on, breakfast and lunch have been mediocre, but at Virgin, breakfast and lunch is just as delicious as dinner. We loved hanging out at the dock house, out of the sun. It has cool, comfortable, inviting vibes. This is the port in DR at Puerto Plata, which was beautiful. It was free to enjoy the area and it had two pools, music, a lazy river. Just make sure that you bring your sunscreen and heat protection and lots of water to stay hydrated. We walked into the town also and it was really cool. The people were friendly and we had a nice tour guide that showed us around. It was actually cool. He stopped the traffic for us to cross all the time and he seemed to know everybody in the town. So a great way to give a little back to the people of DR. Here's a quick glance into Scarlet Night. Most of the music was geared to the 20 and 30 year old crowd because I didn't recognize any of it, but they seemed to really enjoy it. It was nice watching them have fun. We love dual reality and would love to see more shows and more entertainment during sea days. And Virgin, if you're listening, please put in a water slide. At Bimini, there's loungers for everyone, and we stayed as long as we could until the rain came. Here's a glimpse of the cool pool party. Sorry, I can't show you the music. Look at this incredible beach. It's so surreal, it's as if you're dreaming. The beach at Bimini was incredibly beautiful. It was my favorite part of the trip. They had a great pool party and a paradise beach, and you could hear the music from the beach too. So you could enjoy both. There was plenty of shade, and look at that incredible beach. You couldn't ask for anything more. The only thing that they can improve on is the food. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy your cruise. Take care till next time. Thanks for watching.